Hi, it's Wednesday, White Shirt Wednesday, here on the drive on Distenza Drive, and I am just finished with my day, and this is the, actually the second time I'm making this video. The first time, the actual video stopped due to lack of space on the phone. So, today's topic is how to buy a plane ticket. Now, you may say, Dion, why would I go to you to buy a plane ticket? And the natural answer and reason for that is, at least to work for an airline and reservations. So I know how the system works. So here's what I want to let you know. First of all, flexibility on your part is almost invaluable. It's the most invaluable thing you can have is flexibility when it comes to buying a plane ticket. So first I want to tell you about Priceline. Priceline's a wonderful website, but flexibility is the key with Priceline. You get to say, I want to go from point A to point B. I'm willing to spend X amount of dollars for that. And they get to pick the airline and the time of day and the connection cities and number of connections that you will experience through that trip. The tickets are never refundable. And if you don't fly any part of the itinerary, you'll lose the full value of the ticket. So, double-edged sword there. Um, Weather-related issues don't really factor into that, and that'll be a whole other topic some other time. But there you go. That's what Priceline is. Now, if you go to purchase a, a ticket from the airline directly, the thing you want to do is you want to ask them about the fares. Most airlines have a customer service policy that says that they will tell you the fares if you ask them without any argument. When they tell you the fares, um, you can definitely give them some guidelines as far as how to limit the fares that they look at because obviously if you're trying to get a Thanksgiving ticket, you don't want to know about spring break time periods. So you can say, I'm thinking about traveling from Madison to Fort Lauderdale for Thanksgiving. They can pull up the fare quote for that time period and then they will give you a... a, a a range of prices so they'll say okay for travel between Chicago and Fort Lauderdale fares range anywhere from $269 to uh, 500 or sorry to thousands well, I'll just tell you straight it's thousands so when they do give you that information ask them the next question what are the fair rules to get that $200 ticket? And then what they'll tell you is the date and time restrictions, time period restrictions, day of restrictions, advanced purchase requirements, and so on and so forth. So what you may end up hearing is, okay, for $269, we'll sell you a ticket, but you have to travel on Tuesdays or Wednesdays or Saturdays notoriously low travel days by the way wink wink and this ticket is only good from three in the afternoon later okay so what you can do is take the information that they give you as far as the fair rules are concerned and there'll be a lot more than the ones that I just described or maybe even less and then you can make your plan accordingly to try to meet the fair rule requirements. The trick is availability. When it comes to purchasing a plane ticket, the thing you can't control is how many seats that they have at that price based on how many tickets they've already sold. So they may say, hey, you know what? For our plane going from Chicago to Fort Lauderdale, we're going to sell, let's say, 30 tickets at $269. And once that... 30 tickets is gone then we're going to go up to the next price level and whatever price level that is will have its own fair rules so you can't control availability but you can control your flexibility in getting a way to make, meet that fair and meet those rules so they may say well on Tuesday we don't have any for 269 
but on Wednesday we do, and flexibility gets you into that, that place where you're getting that cheaper ticket. Okay, flexibility is the key. The other thing I would encourage you to do is shop. When I say shop, that means go online, go to the Delta American Airlines individual website and ask them or put, put your dates and times in there. Most of those websites actually have a way for you to shop based on these fair rules I'm talking about. They don't necessarily go into all the depth that I've gone into with you, but they'll say, well, for the 269 price, you can travel on this day. I know American does, because I've actually used that tool quite a few times. Okay, so then the other place you can also check out is travel agent websites. That means Travelocity, Expedia, Hotwire. And what they do is they do the exact same thing that you're going to do on the uh, American Airlines website. But they're going to look at things slightly differently because they are trying to sell you a ticket and something else most of the time. So they may say, well, we can get you the 269 fare, but you'll have to spend an extra $30. But we'll give you a rental car. And you're like, hey, I need a rental car when I'm in Fort Lauderdale. Why not? So, or I need a hotel. No, they'll actually lump a full package together for you. That's airfare, hotel, car, and maybe even some fun things. Who knows? So, remember the the other. There are lots and lots of dynamic ways to get a cheap ticket. But the first question you have to ask is, what are the fares, and what are the rules for that fare? And then work with availability. And I'll tell you, if you're traveling on the day before Thanksgiving and you didn't buy your ticket until three weeks beforehand, that availability is going to be very low, thus causing the very high ticket price. When it comes to changing tickets, one of the fair rules that you'll run into is that tickets are non-refundable with a change fee for alterations. So that means if you can't travel on Wednesday because you broke your toe, they'll be happy to let you travel on Thursday and they'll charge you a change fee for that ticket. They'll charge you, when I worked there it was $100, I think that it's up to $200 for change fees. And then the other thing that they'll do is they'll charge you the difference between the ferry that you paid originally and the fare as it is today. So that's a thing to watch out for and the availability really factors into that so just something to consider so if you have good plans don't break your toe don't change your plans you won't have to worry about change fees and you won't have to worry about that difference in fare I'm thinking about uh, trying to start a Q&A here on Distenta Drive and what I would love for people who are watching to do is to uh, either Twitter me uh, questions random questions, questions you perhaps sincere desires to know the answers to, um, Twitter them or send them to me on Facebook or right here on, um, on YouTube. And then I'll incorporate them and make a new show out of uh, that. And then hopefully it'll grow into a bigger thing. And it really stems from me having a desire to have that as part of the Distenta Drive uh, canon of things to watch and today talking about buying an airplane ticket. So, there you go. Please follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and if you have questions, ask them at any of those three places. And most especially, share and get involved right here on YouTube, and subscribe, comment, you know the routine. Thanks for joining me on uh, White Shirt Wednesday on the drive here on Distenta Drive. My name's Dion, buckle up, drive safe, and I'm almost home.